hi there this is abhishek here and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create a free online course website with the help of wordpress all these steps i'm going to show you and for this each and everything including themes plugins we're going to use absolutely free okay so let's start our tutorial right now i am in wordpress dashboard and recently we have installed our wordpress plugin so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all of these sections okay so for that click on screen options and disable all of these things so that we can clean our dashboard it is looking a little messy right now and it is absolutely clean now right so for that first of all we're going to install one theme right for that go to appearance and click on themes inside themes search for ocean wp sorry click on wordpress theme and here search for ocean wp and install this particular one theme and click on activate and our theme has been successfully activated next step is we have to install plugins so let's go to our plugin section and as you can see by default here lots of plugins has been installed so i will recommend you select all of this plugin and from here click on deactivate apply again select all delete we don't want any of these plugins okay click on apply okay so our plugin has been deleted successfully now let me show you how is our website is looking right now see this is a very basic website right we have not yet made any changes so let's close it from here next is go to plugins click on add new search for ocean wp and you have to install three plugins from here number one install ocean extra number two ocean social sharing and number three ocean wp sticky header done next we have to install elementor do not worry i am not going to use the paid version we are going to use the free version of elementor website builder click on install now and with that at the end we have to install one more plugin by the name envato elements okay this one plugin you have to install that's it now go to plugins select all and from here click on activate apply done it is looking quite easy right now next step what we have to do is go to elements and from here click on free kits whatever steps i am telling you kindly take a note so that it will be easy for you to create a website or else you may get confused now in this envato elements you can download lots of templates for your page okay so i will recommend you go to page number 8 there you will get a very good template for your online course website so this is the page number 8 and here you see this one right online tutorial you have to install this kit so let's click on install kit our kit has been installed successfully click on view kit so as you can see this is how your website is going to look and here there are many plugins that is only for paid version for example this is ignore requirement why because if you take this template you must need elementor pro but we don't have elementor pro right this plugins I mean sorry this template you can use this template you can use and all of this template you can use but this template you cannot use it require elementor pro so we are not going to use all of these templates we need only 3 or 4 templates from the list which are those template let me show you but before installing any of this template are you able to see one notification there are four requirement that need to be installed for this template kit to work correctly so click here and uncheck this first option that is elementor pro and click on install above selected requirements done let's click on close okay now we are ready to install the templates number 1 we have to install this one home 1 click on import template 
the second template we need is help and support next contact us template we need and about us is also required and that's it we have to install these four templates only and all the templates has been installed successfully now from here go to pages and select all pages and by default here we have two pages right only i'm going to delete this sample page okay let's click on trash that's it now click on add new and let's create our home page so enter the page name as home and content layout make sure keep it 100% full width because on our home page we don't want to keep any sidebar like this that is not looking good absolutely right now next is go to title and disable this option display page title and click on publish done now let's create one more page for that let's go back click on add new now the next page name is courses c o u r s e s in this page all of our all our course is going to display done again from here choose 100% full width if you want you can hide the title or leave it as it is we can decide later also now let's click on publish now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard go to settings under setting go to reading and from here choose your home page as a static page and from the list choose the home page so this is the new page that we have created home so keep it as it is and from here just click on save changes go to permalink and from here choose post name why because see whenever you create a new post by default it will show website name slash some code that is not look good and it is also not good for your uh, website seo so if you choose the post name means after website name it is going to show display the post name for example networking plus dot in slash ccna my course name right so it look good now click on save changes now next step is let's go to pages all pages open home page and click on edit with elementor S click on this folder icon go to my templates it will display all the templates that you have installed so hence this is our home page so we're going to choose the home let's click on insert yes so our template has been imported successfully let's click on preview changes as here you can see this is how our website home page is going to look like how cool it is guys so we have successfully created our website home page and i believe it is looking really fantastic right now we have to add the title of our website we have to add menu everything i'm going to show you step by step so let's close it let's go back to our wordpress dashboard let's go to plugin click on add new and let's search for tutor lms this is the main plugin that will allow you to create online course website install the plugin click on activate skip all of these instructions now go back to pages and as here you can see once you install tutor lms plugin new pages are going to create automatically such as instruction regist instructor registration student registration right earlier these pages are not there now next step is let's go to appearance and click on menus give your menu name for example i am going to give the name as main menu and click on create menu now in this main menu i am going to add 
all of the important pages available on our website such as instructor registration student registration dashboard courses click on add to menu plus i am also going to add the home page so where is home page let's click on view all and this is our home page of our website click on add to menu from here you can easily drag and drop your menus done now from here choose the main menu click on save menu we have successfully saved our menu now if you go to your website as you can see our menus has been installed successfully now let's change our site title that is my blog it should show our website name that is networking plus so let's get back to our wordpress dashboard go to settings general and site title change it from here click on save changes that's it now let's get back to our website once again and this time as you can see our website name has been changed successfully now let's go forward and create our courses for this go to tutor lms and click on courses add new enter your course name for example my course name is ccna200301 you can give whatever your course name is it may be digital marketing it may be wordpress tutorial or it may be whatever it is right so i am going to give my course name as cisco ccna200301 here you can add the description about your courses what is your course about so i have already my course on udemy.com so i will do just copy and paste i'm just showing you the sample how you can also do the same things right so as you can see this is my course already ranking on udemy with 4.4 star so i'm just going to do the copy and paste all the options from here for example this is my course description let's copy from here and let's paste in this description section go down from here you can choose how many number of student can enroll the course leave it zero it means unlimited number of students can enroll the course you can choose the difficulty whether this course is for beginners intermediate or all levels i'm going to choose the all levels now here add a new topic new topic means your new chapter okay so here let's add networking basics done here you can give the summary of this topic for example you are going to learn the basics of networking done click on add topic now inside your inside topic you are having option to create lessons and quiz for example let's click on lesson enter the lesson name just for showing you the example i am just typing here and in this section you can import your video okay to show you the example i am going to add one of my youtube videos just copy the video url from here and paste it here that's it click on update lesson and from here you can also add a quiz enter your course duration for example i am going to give it 14 hours it may be different it's all depend how many hours your course is just you have to mention here only okay benefit of the course you can mention requirement what all things are required uh, for the student to pass this course for example here is my udemy right requirements i can copy all the requirements from here and paste it here now targeted audience who can join this course this course is for which student and again i will copy this course from here copy it and paste it done now material included what all materials this course includes for example ebook 
soft copy of labs and etc whatever you can mention it okay now from here course introduction video whenever somebody is visiting your course page right he or she is going to see which video you have to select from here so my videos are in youtube so i'm going to choose youtube and here you have to enter the youtube url so i'm going to enter the same video url this one copy and paste it here done make this course public no enrollment required if you enable this options means everybody can join this course and that is absolutely free of cost hence we are creating a paid course i am not going to enable this option leave it uncheck only okay now let's click on publish click on preview changes to see all the changes that we have made and as you can see as of now our course is free of cost if somebody is going to visit this page there is a introduction video hello student this is abhishek gupta your cisco ccna 200301 instructor got it and if anybody click on enroll now they are going to join the course got it now here you can see we have all the descriptions requirements targeted audience got it and if somebody want to give feedback they can also give the feedback here so as of now our website is almost ready you can add multiple lessons on your website now the main thing is we have to set up woocommerce that we want to earn some money with the help of our course right so now let's understand how to set up payment gateway on your tutor lms website now to set up payment gateway we have to install few more plugins just go to add new install one plugin by the name woocommerce install it activate now click on skip setup store details no thanks close everything we are going to set up each and everything manually now it's better let's go to our dashboard and clean these things from here we don't want this messy things here so go to screen option and disable all of these things from here done now let's go to woocommerce products all products create a product now here enter the product name for example i am going to give ccna go down enter your product price for example i am going to set the price as 499 now this is not 499 dollar I am going to change the currency according to my region. If you are from US, then you can set your price five dollar, ten dollar, whatever you want for the course. So I am going to keep it four ninety nine. And from here, enable this virtual and downloadable, and then click on publish. Now go to WooCommerce settings. Now from here you can change the currency of your website by default it is us dollar i am from india so i am going to choose rupees indian rupee click on save changes now it's time to set up payment gateway so once you come to woocommerce default page right this is dashboard here you have to go to payments under payment you are getting four options woocommerce payment direct bank transfer check payment cash on delivery so it's better you can choose this option payment made simple with no monthly fees designed exclusively for woocommerce store if you want you can set up this option i will show you in future videos how to set up this option but hence i am from india i will show you a very simple method like how to enable upi payment for that it's better let's go to plugin click on add new and search for plugin upi qr code and install the first plugin by the name upi qr code payment gateway install now click on activate now let's go back to our woocommerce settings payment now under this section you are getting one new option by the name upi qr code and it is enabled okay now click on manage go down now merchant api va id here you have to enter your upi id in which you want to receive the payment so i am going to enter my upi id here first let's go down and click on save changes 
now let's go back to our tutor lms plugin settings go to monetization and here enable woocommerce save changes now again go to woocommerce now from here enable add to cart feature for guest users and click on save settings now go to tutor lms courses click on edit course now this time you will find a option called add product okay are able to see guys select product option is available earlier this option was not there so from here choose the product that is ccna we have created product on woocommerce right so select the same product that is ccna course type choose paid and click on update now let's go back to our woocommerce settings click on help click on setup wizard setup wizard and here enter your address click on continue yes now from the list choose your industry our industry is education and learning click on continue also choose downloads physical products and downloads click on continue how many products do you plan to display in a single page so i'm going to choose 1 to 10 and current selling elsewhere i am selling no i am setting up a store for a client no this is my own store so don't check this option click on continue 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 with my active theme click on approve now all of these things are not required right now if you want you can set up tags and all these things are a little complicated and it's better we can ignore now if you want i can make a separate video on these things and all right and let's visit our website and see whether our payment gateway is working or not so this is our website let's go to courses now here you can see it is telling you the course price is 499 let's click on add to cart click on view cart click on proceed to checkout and click on proceed to payment and as you can see guys from here user can pay the amount with the help of his upi id and before making payment he have to enter his first name last name even his email address contact number each and everything then only he or she can apply for the course this is all about today i hope this video is really helpful for you then kindly hit the like button and if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe it and also hit the bell icon thanks for watching